Somebody who has a book coming out soon is uh, James Comey. We may, we may or may not read it. But, um, I was curious if you have spoken to him, and if not, what questions should we still be asking about the role that he played in the election? I've never spoken to him. Um, I've never met him. I've never kissed him. And I think, you know, the analyses that have been done, um, a lot of independent uh, folks like Nate Silver have basically said what I believe to be the case, that but for the letter he wrote on October 28th, I would have won. And why do I say that? Well, because we have polling data. There's a very good book out by a guy named Lanny Davis, who you may have seen on TV. He's a longtime friend of mine, but he wrote this book. And he got, he got a lot of the polling data, and I have a lot of it in my book. I was ahead. I'll just take one specific example. So if you are running for president as a Democrat in Pennsylvania, you have to get a big vote in Philadelphia. You have to do as well as you possibly can in the Philadelphia suburbs. You have to try to win Pittsburgh and Allegheny County, and you got to try, if you can, to win Northeast Pennsylvania, Scranton, and Lackawanna County. So, before the Comey letter, I was ahead in the Philadelphia suburbs by uh, 22%. When the Comey letter hit, and I don't blame voters, I, I don't. And people said, oh my gosh, she's going to jail. They are gonna lock her up. Uh, this is you know, something that I can't support, so I'm gonna stay home, I'm not gonna vote, or maybe I'll vote for one of the third party candidates, or maybe I'll be persuaded to vote for Trump, but I can't vote for somebody that is under investigation. So I ended up winning the suburbs by 13 points, which was about five points less than I needed to win them by uh, to overcome the way Pennsylvania votes. Uh, because you've got the east and the west, and then you've got you know the middle and the far west, and you know it's traditionally Republican and it's it's tough for any Democrat. And when Nate Silver and others went back and looked at all of the polling, the single event that changed people's votes, and you have anecdotal evidence of that, and you have survey evidence of that. And not just from political pollsters. Uh, there's a company that does consumer uh, feelings and sentiments. Some of you may work in an industry that uses that. And they had never seen a bigger drop than they saw in sentiment toward me until the Comey letter on October 28th happened. 